How's it going YouTube? Liam from Links Australia here and welcome to Let's Play Windscape. Now, I don't exactly know much about this game. I have been keeping an eye on this one for quite some time. Uh, it has been released for a while. I just haven't had the chance to actually grab the game yet. But I not long actually bought the game and I'm now going to check it out. By the looks of it, it's kind of like... So it's sort of following the same style, not in terms of following what... Um, uh, air Memories of Old is like, but it's using that polygon-like style of graphics or at least theme as far as I understand and as we can see with this screen. But, what I understand is that it's a first-person perspective game uh, and that's all I really know. So, let's start a brand new adventure. Ooh. Okay, the game's trying- the <laughs> game's loading in. <laughs> Head Up Games presents. A game by Dennis... White? Or Wit? I would presume it's White. Just spelt differently compared to the... Other way of saying White. Windscape. Oh, hello, Mr. Mole. Ida. Ida. Alright, so we are playing the role of Ida. So, alright. Okay, by the looks of it, frame rates out of 30, but that's okay, because that's to be expected within the Switch version. Doesn't look too bad. Looks actually, not, it looks pretty decent actually. All right, let's go find out who's calling our name. Hello. Good morning, nice nice of you showing up. A farm like this is a damn lot of work and every pair of hands helpful. Uh, how can I help? Your mother is already preparing dinner. Go into the house and make yourself useful. Alrighty. Let us see what mother has installed for us. I wonder what this is gonna be like. Anna. I, I've forgotten who the who the father's name is. Anna. Gone right. to good, uh, good morning. Right. To prepare the stew, I still need some ingredients. Please get onions, herbs, and meat. Uh, where oh, can well. I find these ingredients? Take a look in the garden and in the chest in the yard. Uh, sparkling items can be ex extracted and gathered and will show up in your inventory. Fog and we love all we sniffing. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the Sims, uh, Simish um, uh, language for how they're speaking. In treasure chests and crates, you will also find important resources. With these, you can craft new items by yourself. Ah, so there's some crafting involved in this. Okay. So, oh, there's a chest over here. Let's see what's in the chest. Hello? Ah, ten raw meat. Oh, mushrooms. Okay, so resource management is in this game, which is cool. And also crafting, so... By the looks of it and the sounds of it, it's going to be uh, a bit of a survival-like game, if, as far as I understand. Okay. Oh, that, that's actually a, a simple map, yes, but it, it's... I never really see much of a map of that kind of design, so that, that I can't really, uh, uh... Can't really give any faults to that. Ah, here's the garden. Okay. Purple herbs. Okay, I wonder what the purple herbs are going to be used for. Onions! <laughs> I wonder if there's a Shrek close by. So he can give us the monologue of, of onions having layers. 
Use the stove in the house. Okay. So the order say feature, I'm not sure what the amount of time it takes for each auto save. What have we got? Mushroom, casserole, meat stew. Aha! We've got everything. Make two. Alright. I've cooked the stew. Very, good, Benny. Very nice. You should go get your father now. I think he has another pretty important job for you. Okay. So there's a lot of gonna be a lot of quest skipping by the sounds of it. Paul is his name. Okay. Good morning. Nice of you to show up. Uh, a farm. Uh, dinner's ready. Is ready. Great. I could eat a horse. Uh, hey, don't run away again. There, there's one more thing. Knowing you, you've got nothing to do, and you're up for an adventure. I have to deliver another package to Marcus uh, Hammerhead in Sky Harbor. Uh, he also asked for it. Uh, can you take this delivery over for me? Thanks. Definitely. I have put the package in your inventory. Uh, take it to him as fast as you can. Oh, there is something else I have to tell you. Very On the way to the city, watch out for the wild animals. They have been particularly aggressive lately. Uh, I will give you a homemade club to take with you. Uh, you can equip it in the inventory. Alright, so... Alright, we have the club, and we have the package. Alright, Sky Harbor. Uh, click to open the inventory. I already did that ahead of time. Okay. Now, I'm assuming that uh, Windscape is also on other platforms besides Switch, but uh, I just decided to uh, get it on the Switch. Um, like what I do with most of the games anyway. Because I like to build up a library. Uh, you can switch between weapons with the... Oh. Hello. Uh, Mysterico? Is that how you pronounce it? Alright. Gee, you scared me. I was a little absorbed in thought. Uh, have you ever wondered why? Oh, shouldn't burn <laughs> burden you with it. Very shush. I need to think of a... I need to try and think of some voices for some of these characters. Uh, I'm sure you don't have time for it. Uh, tell me. Uh, this totem behind me is only looks myst mystical. Not only looks mystical. Let me try it again. Uh, this totem behind me not only looks mis mystical, but it also it's also a save point and replenishes your life energy. Uh, you'll know all that... You know that... You know all that already. <laughs> I tend to digress slightly. Sorry. Okay, so it's a save point as well as giving us some health. Nice. Right. Opponents can lurk anywhere and attack you. Make sure you always have a have the right weapon uh, with you to defend yourself. Okay. Oh, I've been spotted. Oh, I got a shield. I like the I like the combat music actually. And you're down. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So instead of a um. So they drop little hearts to give you give a bit of your health back. That's actually cool. So the combat is basic, I'll say that. But then again, sometimes basic and simple combats are fine as long as it's um as well as long as it's balanced. When it comes to fighting off enemies, then and there are other issues are there, then that's fine. Blueberries. New diary entry, an aggressive wolf. Ooh. Ah, Evergreen Island. I came across a very aggressive wolf. They usually avoid us, but now they are in a frenzy. Ah, okay. So I'm assuming that the notebook will give us at least a few hints here and there. 
Ooh. Uh, the right tool is missing from your inventory. All right, so I need a um, I need a pickaxe to iron that. Why you done, you? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, a coin. Coins. All right, so purchasing stuff will become a thing later. Observatory, by the looks of it. Well, someone's on the run. Or is he, or is he practicing for a uh, an Olympic or a sporting event of some sort? All right. Oh, I wonder what's happening in that tower. Ah, blacksmith shop. New diary entry, Sky Harbor. Let's see. Evergreen Island, Sky Harbor. Now that I'm in Sky Harbor, I should look around a little further. Who knows where I'll be... Who knows when I'll be here again? True. Oh, music, listen to that. Ah, so you must be the person. Marcus Hammerhead. Stress. Have you ever forged, forged Gal? Uh, <coughs> hang on. Have you ever forged Gal? I really, sw it's really sweaty work. But no pain, no gain. And, and how does it go? And heat? You need embers to form the, the iron. Uh, I have a package. Uh, I have got a package from my father for well. you. Hmm? You have come instead of your father? Good, good. Oh, wait a minute, hang on, let me try that again. Hmm, so you've come instead of your father. Good, good. Then let me examine your father's work. Ah, yes, excellent work. Paul is really talented when it comes to it comes to carving. Uh, these handles will go well on my weapons. Uh, thanks for bringing them over. Uh, you can come to me any time if you want to make a weapon. Granted that you have all the necessary materials. Uh, at the at the workbench, you can see what's still missing. Collect or buy what you need. This will help you for sure. A small thank you for me. I've got one more thing for you to do. Uh, are you interested? I suppose I can listen. All right, light delivery. Hey, you're a diligent errand girl. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. I got nothing else to do, apparently. Um, I can't leave here. The embers and all, you know. Uh, oh well. I have been waiting for my copper ore for some time. My suppliers are really slow running out. Uh, my supplies are slowly running out. Uh, I don't know exactly where the deliver why the delivery is delayed. But till now, I've always been able to rely on Walter. Now I'm starting to get worried. Please check on Walter. Uh, where you can find him? Well, at the watermill. Uh, don't tell me you've never been there and tried his uh, wife's apple pie. Are you? I'll give you this permit. Without it, you won't get past the king's guards. I suggest you equip yourself with good weapons. Uh, you never know what to expect on the road. You do have a good point there. Okay, so... Where are my coins at? Ooh. So I have more than 99. So I'm assuming I have 100. So where do I go to... So I go to the forge, don't I? Forge and furnace. Okay. So... What's that? Palaz Bar. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but... Alright, so... Short bronze sword. Short iron sword. Copper bar. Dry wood. Well, let's actually experiment with using just the club and the shield for now. Uh, I could probably actually buy a pickaxe from this guy so I can grab minerals later. And 
and an axe. So at least I have an axe and a pickaxe to grab wood and some ore whenever I come across the mining deposits. That is good for me so far. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be curious of like what other areas are going to be like because for what I understand and especially looking at this map there has to be other sections and other locations besides this one area. It kind of reminds me of the guy, um, uh, the postman from Majora's Mask or the running guy from Ocarina of Time. I forgot his name. But, um... It's like that he's practicing runnings to deliver the deliver the letters, deliver the mail. <laughs> but let's grab some more supplies. I'm assuming that there's going to be a uh, weight limit as well when it comes to carrying stuff. So that's something I'll have to keep in mind. <laughs> I like the fact that. I'm basically grabbing herbs, but it sounds like I'm mining, um, mining a mine deposit. Oh. Oh, spiders. Alright, well that's, uh, that sounds, um, familiar. Yeah, it sounds like um, the, the pot's breaking from Terraria. <laughs> th it's the exact same sound, like there's no doubt about it, but that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, uh, so we must be actually on a proper floating island, I'm guessing. That is what I am assuming. Alright, so I have some copper now, which will come in handy later. And we have another save point. Why did it just go past? Okay. Oh, the pine tree! Okay. I have to remember to actually chop down some trees later. Got a little merchant. Here, alchemist table. Ooh. General goods. Oh, nope, don't need to worry about you. I'm assuming I have to talk to you, Walter. Hey, you're there. Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, out with, out with it. Marcus Hammerhead sent me. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is actually not my way of greeting strangers. I'm not myself at the moment. These bandits have robbed me. Uh, they have taken everything from me. Uh, damn robbers. Uh, you know, it's about all of my... It's all about my copper ore f uh, f uh, for four months. Uh, I'm really desperate. What should I do now? And how shall I deliver it to my customers? Uh, did you perhaps meet the bandits on your way out of the town? No. Nope. Good. Then I hope that my copper is still somewhere to be found. Just go and see if the bandits are hanging around in the mine. Uh, I desperately need my copper ore again. Alright. I am worried that they have taken mo ov over my mine, but I cannot go go away for... Let's try again. Uh, I am worried that I they have taken over my mine, but I cannot go away from here myself. Otherwise, they will rob me again. Alright, so we're off to a copper mine area. There's some tents over there, but I know that that's not really where we need to go. Why is the music picked up, by the way? Oh, right, because there's a wolf nearby. What's that purple tree over there? I have a feeling that purple tree is no good. What the heck is that thing? 
that one of the bandits? Alright, I'm assuming those are the bandits that we are needing to fight. I'm guessing. Okay, so the frame rate is not the not that bad now down here. Okay, so besides So while that's my shield does protect me a little bit, it's still I still get a good amount of damage from these guys. So I reckon the more better shield we have, then, um... Hmm. <laughs> so the better shield we have, then the more protected we are from these guys, and we won't lose any health. So, good tonight. Open sesame! Ooh. Music kind of reminds me of Pokemon, actually. Oh, this also reminds me of the layout from um, oh, from Skyrim. I remember playing Skyrim, and there's a sort of a similar layout like this uh, down below. Go down. Oh, me too. So what's that? Okay, so it does reveal health. Reveals health every time. Oh, that's nice. Alright, these down. We have the coins. Oh, chest! What's in the chest? Ooh! Ooh, okay. So there's a couple of things here that uh, that are interesting. Okay, so maybe moving around while fighting is probably a good idea, I reckon. Unless if it's the wasps that do um, range damage, then uh, then uh, that will be something to probably time my shield shield ability. Okay, some more copper ore. Anything up here? No? Can't hit that. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, so I need something. I need a I need a bow and arrow or something to throw at the eye. Goodbye. Some coins. Well, the squeakiness of going down these wooden steps. That's actually pretty cool. Whoa, what the hell? I probably bet that was not meant to happen. <laughs> I probably bet that wasn't meant to happen. Oh well. Okay, so they're down. Oh, I see. Okay. So we need to explore around the area, find two other switches. Right, right, right. Okay. So far, I'm liking this. Like, this is an interesting sort of game. Yeah, the, the frame rate, of course, some people will probably have a problem with it. But this is the Switch version, and I'm guessing that there were some limitations that have to be sacrificed. Or certain things would have to be sacrificed just to make the game run on Switch. But as long as I'm having fun with the game, that's fine by me. We're going down. I like it that the crystals in some caves uh, with certain games actually light up a bit of the area. 
or not light up as much as these torches, but they're illum uh, that they're, they're illuminating. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, that's my jump button. Okay. All right, a bit of an interesting spot for a jump button, I would say, is the is the right bumper, but I can get used to that. Does that take stamina? No, it doesn't. So sprint, sprint, and possibly if there's any magic abilities in this game, it will probably cost the stamina as well. That's that's my guess. Okay, so down here we go. Let's see. Okay. Takes a good amount of ore just to make one bar. Oh, I can make a short sword though. So that is what I will do. Yay. And I don't think these uh, actually have any durability, which is cool, so. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so there has to be some particular items that have, um, have some magic ability. Wait, is there a bow and arrow that I can make? Yeah, I can. I need a copper bar and animal tenderloins. Uh, not tenderloins, sorry. Um, tendons, which I believe the merchant upstairs actually has some. Okay, so the shield also gets upgraded when you have a better weapon. That's actually pretty cool. So we don't have to necessarily worry about shield as much, which I like. Okay. So we've pretty much got the right amount of dry wood, I think, unless I need one more. But we just need, just need the coppers. Smelt the copper. And then, we should have enough for the bow and arrow. Alright. So, I got one I need. I now have the short bow. Which, going back to the eye. Because I have a feeling the eye has some... Um, is something important, I reckon. Probably might give us the key to open up the door that's behind there. Which I'm assuming is like a boss battle. Which, if it is a bus battle, then we have some dungeons in this game, which I love a good dungeon. So let us equip that. <laughs> Bit of a weird uh, arm positioning for a running animation, I should say that. Uh, oh! That was some good, uh, good music to unlock the, to complete a puzzle. I like that. Whoops. I'm assuming that fall damage is a thing with this game, so I do need to be, uh, slightly careful. Alright, and there's climbing in this game, which is nice. In the chest we have weak matter. Oh, mana soul. Okay, so no key. Not sure, is there anything in the back? Nope. Okay, so no key, but that's okay. So let us head back to the 
gate then. Alright. So. Oh, maybe I didn't need a key. Maybe? Checkpoint saved. I can't cut that. Some more stew. Some coins. So what have we got here? Uh oh! Blast a mulk. Oh my luck. Oh, he a big boy. Okay, so dynamites do not go near because they will hurt. Oh wait. Oh, all right. So even blocking that is going to cause a lot of damage. <laughs> All right, so just gonna keep dodging and weaving. That's all I can really do. Ow! Woo! Let's eat some stew. does a good amount of damage. And got him! Whew. That definitely was a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Ah, so Hark <laughs> Hark is in the game, but it doesn't act like much of Hark Containers. That's pretty cool. What's in here? Uh, iron ore. And Walter's Copper Ore. There we go. And away we go. So that was like a, a temple in a way. It was like a dungeon temple. Walter, I got your stuff back. I bumped off the bandits. Uh, oh, I'm still a little confused. Why have you... Why, you have a huge smile on your face. Did you by chance get my copper ore back? Incredible. Uh, I'm internally grateful for this. Uh, but uh, what do you get from words? Please take these coins as a token of my gratitude. I'll take money. And since it's your... Since it's on your way, if you don't mind, uh, take this a couple of delivery to Marcus at Hammerhead. I can certainly do that. But, I'm going to actually leave that for the episode. But, I like this game already. Um, there's nothing really much else I can say in terms of critiques at the moment. Like, again, I have to take into consideration that there's going to be some limitations to this game. Especially when it's on the Switch version. So, I can't really give any much faults for that. So far, the combat is solid. I have played some games that don't have much combat, uh, good combat systems. I won't name any names. Combat system, definitely going to take getting used to considering we're playing in a first person perspective. But, I mean, I've played Skyrim a couple of times in first person, so it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm liking this game already. But that's all the time I have for this video. So, if you guys like the video, then click the like button. Click the subscribe button for more videos anyway. Until then, this has been Let's Play Windscape. I'm Liam from Least Australia. Until next time. Lay him out.